The end to the global chip shortage is reportedly coming, but what does this mean for you and your ability to buy a graphics card? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Casetify. Casetify is a phone case production company that not only cares about protecting your phone, but allowing you to express yourself with cool and unique designs. With their new impact and ultra impact cases made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials, you can not only protect your phone, but the world by creating less waste. And speaking of protecting your phone, Casetify's QI Tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection up to 9.8 feet, which believe me, could save you big time. But if that isn't enough, Casetify carries the largest variety of phone cases, colors, and designs to fit your every mood. And best of all, their impact and ultra impact cases are 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. Plus they feature Defensify, an antimicrobial coating killing 99% of bacteria, ensuring safety. So if you're looking for a new case for your current phone or looking to upgrade to the iPhone 13 and want to keep your phone safe, personalized, and eco-friendly, be sure to check out the description below and go to Casetify dot com slash challenge to save 15% off your order. All right, so a very exciting piece of news was just posted over on 3dcenter.org today, which by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below. But according to the article, it looks like the end of chip shortages across all industries could be coming sooner than we thought, which has me so excited. So let's go ahead and read a little piece of the article and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So according to OC3D.net, quote, the IDC has predicted that today's shortages will be temporary, expecting a normalization and balance by the middle of 2022. Which, by the way, let's go ahead and pause that right there before we continue any further. Yes, while it is possible, if they're correct, that by 2022 there could potentially be an alleviation to these chip shortages for the global industry, it's actually possible that it could end up happening a little bit sooner for GPUs, depending on what happens with cryptocurrency mining, but we'll go ahead and touch on that a little bit more later in this video. But let's go ahead and continue on. Where they say, quote, furthermore, the analyst has predicted that the industry may see overcapacity in 2023, bringing today's semiconductor manufacturing shortage to an end. So yeah, this is definitely some very exciting stuff, guys, because if this report does turn out to be true and this prediction is right, well, if by the middle of 2022, all these shortages for the entire global industries is completely over, that means that you as a GPU buyer are likely gonna have a much better time trying to get your hands on some sort of graphics card, so very exciting stuff. And even more exciting if it does turn out to be true that by 2023, there could potentially be an oversupply, which for all of us is going to be great news because this could actually end up leading to lower prices across the board in the entire PC industry, which is something that we desperately need right now, considering that every single generation, it seems like prices continue to climb higher and higher at a pace that is far outstripping the inflation that has been occurring. So that's definitely some very good stuff to hear as a PC gamer. But there's something that I want to touch on here that I just mentioned a little bit ago, and that's the whole cryptocurrency mining, because there is something that could end up leading to you being able to buy a graphics card even sooner than the middle of 2022. We could be talking about potentially uh, the beginning of 2022, or even if you're lucky by the end of 2021 this year, it is possible that you could have a much better time trying to get your hands on a graphics card at or near its original MSRP. And the way this could occur is that, you know, it all comes down to when the EIP P3554 hits, which by the way, if you don't know what that is, the EIP3554 or Ethereum Improvement Proposal 3554 is essentially going to be a difficulty bomb uh, for the Ethereum protocol, which of course is the most popular way for cryptocurrency miners to make money on their graphics card right now. When this occurs, essentially what's going to happen is it's going to make it so much more difficult to mine on the network that their profitability is going to go way down. And this will eventually be followed up by the uh, proof of stake model, which essentially is going to be, you know, all but eliminating GPU mining on Ethereum. So of course, if Ethereum mining goes away, a lot of these people are gonna end up moving to other altcoins. You know, they're not gonna completely go away. However, these other altcoins do have a much lower market cap. And so this is going to make it a lot less profitable to mine, meaning that a bunch of these miners may eventually slow down or completely stop the buying of GPUs, making it much, much easier for you to buy a graphics card. The only question is, when is this gonna happen? Now, there have been 
signs potentially uh, pointing towards it happening near the end of this year and a best case scenario. However, we could be talking about Q1 of 2022 as well. So you're just going to have to hope and pray that it comes sooner rather than later. But once this occurs, this is also going to make it much, much easier for you to get your hands on a graphics card. So you take that in combination with this report of potentially the global chip shortage ending by the middle of 2022. And it's looking like, guys, that 2022 is going to be an absolutely fantastic year for PC gamers, considering that you might actually have a much better chance of getting your hands on a graphics card. And on top of that, we're going to be seeing the RTX 40 series and RX 7000 series from AMD and NVIDIA. And those GPUs are going to have a massive improvement in terms of their performance. So if you can actually get them at a reasonable price, hey, yeah, 2022 is looking like a great year. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think the global chip shortage is going to come to an end? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.